hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is flavia and if you are new to this channel please do subscribe you know you are welcome you know you can join the team we welcome you with open arms willing to take you and keep you to the family okay just know you have been adopted today thank you very much so don't forget to subscribe and like this video well in today's video i'm going to talk about my experiences yes i have to say that out loud everybody have different experiences you know we experience everything differently so my experience is not the same as yours um yeah not about to drag me in the comments let me read it for you because i i wrote it down <laughs> i wrote it down quick disclaimer everyone have different experiences so i'm not in any way saying that um that my experience is the same as every black person living in sweden i am speaking from my own experience yes <laughs> also this video is for somebody who is probably thinking about moving to sweden are you thinking about doing that or somebody who is already living in sweden they are new here they would like to get to know the swedish what are they like what do they like what do they talk about i got you i got you because i've been living here for 10 years so yeah i think i know enough to um to do this video i mean to inform <laughs> yes so um without any further ado let's get right into the video i got a drink with me y'all this needs to be fun so i'm gonna have a drink you know let's start off with drinking some champagne because we need to relieve the tension because there are some people who are intense because like i've checked out the videos on youtube about people talking about their experiences and it feels like they are not free enough to talk about them and i just want to have a drink and ju just relax my nerves and make sure that everything is okay is that okay because it's sweden you can do whatever you want as long as you don't go against the law so um yeah let's open the bottle oh my god i'm so nervous oh yes finally thank god Whew. that's over it's not easy So one thing that I've learned that I really noticed when I was new here was punctuality. People in Sweden respect their time. So if they say that, okay, we are going to meet up at 10 o'clock, please be there at least 15 minutes ahead because Swedish people don't like waiting i know it's just the same thing as me like i don't like waiting for anybody if you know that you're going to be late try to let them know 30 minutes in advance and call them or send them a text message and tell them oh there is maybe a failure maybe a transport failure maybe there's a lot of traffic or the try the train has issues because sometimes that happens and you know it could be understanding those are some excuses you can give even if you like woke up late because we all know some people like to sleep in the mornings they are lazy to wake up so um you can give like that as an excuse but um be careful because they might do their research and if there was no failure you might look like a fool so um be careful about that but yeah that's the kind of excuse that i give sometimes if i know i'm not going to be there on time give them a notice or send them send them a message and let them know that i won't be able to make it uh, i won't be able to make it at exactly 10 but i might be there 15 minutes later so that you know they know because they really do respect their time otherwise they will look at you like why are you late hmm don't go knocking on people's doors you think you can go to your neighbors and knock their door and ask for salt ask for tea ask for sugar um don't do that in africa you can know the entire village 
everybody knows you your grandchildren they know you in sweden it's quite the opposite swedish people love their privacy they don't want to be disturbed so please don't go knocking on their door because they might call at at twelve for you and um you don't really want to have to deal with that when you are new here i know in our countries it's kind of like different you can you know socialize with your neighbors you can even sometimes like if you are a farmer you can send them some food here is different because they'll call at at twelve on you which is the police and if you didn't know the number for the police i mean you're welcome at at twelve that's the swedish police number but yeah don't go knocking on your neighbor's door because i mean that's more like you are invading their privacy your neighbors don't know you and that's the thing yeah swedish people they are kind of shy and something i noticed about them yeah when you live close to them and if they want to leave their apartment say that they want to leave their apartment right now they are going to work and you happen to open your door to leave all at the same time the swedish person will actually stay back and wait for you to go and leave and then they will leave after you that's really weird men and women are equal in sweden not even just men and women everybody is equal and i know like in africa they might find it shocking to see a child express the way she or he feels towards the parents because like in Africa, you don't have that freedom of expression as a child. Like you can't speak back and say what you think and say your opinions. Whereby in Sweden is quite the opposite. Like children are entitled to their opinions and they have their own rights as well as women and men. And that's something that uh, took me a while to get used to because in my country, I was raised a dif differently. I was raised ri differently and um, when I was new here, I was like, what? Men can also cook in the kitchen. That is weird. Men, men clean. Mm, that's weird. But yeah, men do clean. Men do change diapers. Men do cook here. So um, if you are thinking of moving to Sweden and you think that your wife is going to do all the cooking, you might want to get a lesson on how to learn how to cook. So uh, yeah, definitely get a lesson to learn how to cook. Fixing your hair, your eyebrows is a luxury. It's expensive. Sweden is expensive. If you want to fix your hair, you are going to have to get creative with it. As for me, I checked on YouTube. I learned how to fix certain hairstyles that fit me, that I liked, that I felt confident in. So you might want to check out on YouTube on how to fix your hair. Otherwise, you will spend a lot. You will spend a lot on your hair. Like, like I like I did in the beginning because I didn't know what to do. But there is a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do different hairstyles, on how to braid your hair, on where you should get even the hair. Yeah. Even though there is a lot of churches in Sweden, Swedish people don't really take God seriously. Not all of them, but the ones I've met, most of them that I've met, they don't believe in God they believe in science that's what they tell me they'll ask me have you seen god like if i tell them like if i give them an example of an experience i've been through and i say that yeah it's only by god's grace that i went through that experience they will be like okay where is god have you seen him how do you know that it's god how do you know that it's not your choices that made you go through that experience so yeah a lot of them don't believe in god which i think for me it's fine like if you don't believe in god it's okay it's not like they are also against god they are not against people who believe in god but i've noticed like most of them don't believe in god a company that i feel like you should know about before you move here it's called corner Foden. so corner Foden is a company whereby if you don't pay your bills um if you don't care about your bills they will force you to care about your bills because they will show up to your job they will come to your house they will show up everywhere they will start calling the people that they think know you 
I mean, you don't want to go through that embarrassment. So please pay your bills on time. And plus also the fact that it might mess up your chances of getting a job. Like for instance, if you go to apply for a job, uh, if you go to apply for a job, they will look at your credit and they will say he can barely pay his own bills. Will he be able to take over this responsibility? I don't think so. So they will not give you a job because of that. And also maybe you want to buy a house. You want to purchase something on credit and you won't be able to get that. So please pay your bills on time so you don't have to go through that when it comes to language i would say that everybody in sweden have like basic skills in english so communicating with someone in english won't be a problem or a challenge what i've noticed about swedish people is that they prefer speaking swedish to english and some of them they're uncomfortable speaking other languages they prefer speaking Swedish at all times. So if you are new here and you want to blend in with the society, you might want to consider to learn how to speak Swedish. Other than that, I would say, I would say that my challenges learning how to speak Swedish were like pronouncing certain vowels and certain words which up to now i can't pronounce because it's only swedish people who know the difference or the people who are like raised here who have been here for since since they were kids so i would say that um yeah learning swedish is a bit challenging it's a bit challenging but you will get through it as long as you have friends who you don't speak your language with or who don't speak english who don't speak the same language as you then you will feel challenged to learn the language and if you listen to swedish often let's say by watching movies or listening to radio or music it will be easier for you to learn newsflash african people if you have this mentality of thinking that um you pluck money from trees you become rich you drive lambo you buy a mansion in africa i am sorry to break it down to you i am sorry to bust your bubble but I, I, it's not that way i'm sorry sir because uh, you might be a millionaire in your country depending on which country you come from and the value of your currency um in europe it's quite the opposite you have to work hard for the money that you get okay that's number one and we don't pluck money from trees money don't fall down from nowhere like snow i'm sorry um we really work hard for the money that we have here and honestly speaking there are some there are some benefits of living living in europe i see the difference education is free for instance education costs in my country certain things here are free but um yeah it is not really what we really think that when you come here you become automatically rich so no we don't pluck money from trees you actually have to work hard for it and as i mentioned earlier if you get your monthly pay you get bills as well to pay that month so um it's hard it's hard i can't say of course you can live a normal life but you won't get rich okay you might be rich in africa though based on the kind of salary you have and the kind of expenditures you will have every month but um no we don't pluck money from trees school is free in sweden you don't have to pay money for it primary school secondary school university nursery school you can study as much as you want and also the good part about it is that the government pays you money to go to school i know i know it's kind of weird but yeah they kind of do pay you money so depending on how old you are if you are from uh, let's say uh, if you are from 14 years old uh, going to 
um 19 years they pay you like a thousand i believe right now it's like a thousand three hundred crowns if not 500 crowns if you are from 20 going up they pay like three thousand crowns which is like three hundred dollars and one thousand five hundred crowns is like a hundred and fifty dollars so yeah they kind of pay you to go to school and if that money is not enough you can always get a loan from a company called csn they can lend out money to you to make sure that you know you got all your costs covered up for the month so you can live a good life so yeah they kind of pay they kind of pay you to go to school in sweden that's how it is. I remember after the pandemic, people were talking about, ah, oh, we have to social distance. We have to practice social distancing. We've been doing that for a long time in Sweden. So you don't even need to tell us to social distance. People in Sweden, when they are sitting here, yeah, I think I'll have to find a photo of how people sit in Sweden and show you guys, like, you can't go and just sit anywhere. In the bus like if you see a Swedish person sitting on a seat you have to go and sit opposite to where he's they are sitting so if there is space elsewhere try and go and sit that way it is not like I wouldn't say because most people would say that that's racist but it's not racist it's just the way Swedish people are they just prefer to like have their own space kept to themselves and they don't want anybody to invade their space because if you come and sit close to them when there's when you could sit somewhere else where there is space they'll feel like what are you doing here like the energy will be kind of off don't let it offend you because that's something that is normal i mean i think it's normal in the old scandinavian countries that's what they do they prefer to sit by themselves you know we african people we have this energy like i like the energy though don't get me wrong like i like the energy you know that kind of energy you be shouting somebody's name flavia hi how are you doing swedish people hate that type of energy like you freak them out with that kind of energy so if you want to approach a swedish person please try to compose yourself be calm talk to them calmly because if you come with that type of energy that is that they can't just match it if you are here and they are here there is no balance so swedish people they are more reserved they are calm so when you are approaching them please try to meet their energy don't don't be here and they are here because then they will back off from you okay yeah that's what i wanted to say about like if if you are meeting them for the first time or if you are about to approach a swedish person this is something you have to keep in mind sweden is a very dark country during the winters so it's very easy during this period of time for people to fall into depression to feel frustrated to have anxiety to like overthink everything one thing that could help you out is being close to your family members and having a lot of friends because during this time you really go deep into yourself and start digging into things that are dark which causes you to have depression and i know this is not like something that is very popular in africa you start talking about depression they're like oh you have demons something is wrong with you we need to pray for you we need to take you to the pastor but it is a real thing in sweden people do get depressed if you want to make friends and connect with african people i would say the best way to do that is like by either adding them on social media i made some of my friends to go into school actually as well because in sweden it's more like you know one african person then all of a sudden you know the entire sweden so that's how i started making african friends but if that's something that you are interested in I would recommend attending African parties, going to school. They have African African churches as well in Sweden. So I would recommend going to church as well. What else? Yeah, that's it. Let me tell you, you will get attention. You will get attention in every shop you go to. They might follow you asking you, do you need any help? How may I help you, please? Do you need me to explain this product? Because you are black. 
that's the only reason I can come up with because you're black. Yes. Sometimes the attention is good and sometimes it's bad. Sometimes you're like, I'm not going to steal anything. I promise. You don't have to follow me everywhere I go. It's okay. Like, don't follow me. Don't follow me. I'm okay by myself, you know. I just want to look around and see if I want to buy something from here. Like, you don't have to follow me everywhere, okay? Okay, I'm not a thief. Not every black person is a thief, okay? Okay? Yeah. When it comes to fashion, yeah? Blue, gray, black, white. Blue, gray, black. I think any color outside those colors is too much. Like, you are doing the most you are trying to draw our attention now you are doing the most like people will look at you if you wear yellow and you go outside people will look at you like where did this person come from why is she dressed like this why are you wearing pink like you are making a lot of noise right now and we don't need that right now so in sweden those we only wear neutral colors we stick to blue gray black and white ask around ask around look around racism is there racist in sweden i mean if you look at the couple of videos that have been that are out there on youtube about people speaking about their experiences in sweden especially like black girls talking about their experience i mean you would see the kind of backlash they have because if they have that type of backlash then it should send a message you know i think that's going to be my answer to that question so is there racism in sweden yes there is but not everybody is racist not everybody is racist have i experienced racism before yes i have but i also noticed that not every person that i meet is racist just like in other countries there is racism everywhere not just in sweden but that doesn't make it okay to be racist to other people okay i didn't really experience anything that is racist until i started working i think it also depends where you live if you live somewhere where it's like a village then you experience more racism at least from my experience that's what i noticed because when i moved in sweden i was living in uh, stockholm stockholm is more like a diverse city it has a little bit of everybody there so people are used to seeing black people people are used to seeing different races there is racism in sweden but not everybody is racist anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching that was it for the video um if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe leave a like on this video leave a comment down below and i'll see you in my next one bye guys let me call you back i'm looking for some commandy some commandy some commandy next come week money. i'm expecting some commandy some commandy some commandy come come when i get man i'm going to send you some commandy some commandy some commandy come my money. brother i'm looking for some commandy some commandy some commandy